And now that the season is over for Elias Lindholm, we've seen it all. Up front, right, close and personal. We've seen it from a distance, the highs, the lows. Now that we know what the season has been for Elias Lindholm, is he? If it still feels like he's worse off than maybe he was a year ago, oh, no question. <laughs> to sign a contract or no an extension, question. I do uh, think there was some value back from where he was. Let's yeah, say it, before the playoffs started, though, it's a year but that how cost much? him some what money. Is, okay, well, like. how going through his career and see, we've seen enough of him. It's we have the info. Yeah, what it, he sure as hell is not a number one. No, and that's what people wanted. Th thought he was this past summer and what his agent and he would have been asking for is number one center money. But he's proven not without a doubt. He is yeah. not a number one. Yeah. I think he's proven he's a number two center. Number and two. So center, what's that worth? He was wanting in the neighborhood of nine. He ain't on getting a, that on a, on an eight or seven or eight year deal. I, he's not going, I'm with you. We can all shake our heads in unison. He is. He's not going to get that. He's and long. he's also one of those guys too. You, you like him. But he's not an offensive, necessarily offensive. He contributes offensively. There's some offense there. But he's not really a shutdown guy either. You don't really hear him in the Selkie conversation. I see you scrambling. I, I think he's a good defensive with. centerman, but I'll go have to look at the metrics here. You know, I, I guess all I mean is if, you're, if you want to get paid to that high end to use it, what, what are you? Are you yeah. a... Are you a def are you Barkov? Are you nope. <laughs> are you dry side? Like what are you? And it's, there's nothing wrong with being somewhere in the middle, but it does it's a bit of a head scratch yeah, when it comes to just what it's going to take to get him under contract. Yeah, so if he wanted, let's say, call it um, okay, ninety year times eight is let's call it seventy million bucks. If that's what he was asking for from the Flames in the fall. That, that's number one center money, not elite all-star money, even though he yeah. went to the freaking all-star game. What a joke that was. Sure. Uh, but if someone's bringing him in, it might be a team like Boston. Say, come play on our second line. We got the culture and structure thing figured out. You'll thrive here. If we can do it with Pavel Zaka and Charlie Coyle and Jake DeBrusque, you could be a 2C here, right? Um, what do you pay him? Is it like you probably don't have the max term? Uh, you didn't play poorly enough where you're going to take a one year and try to build your value back? Is it... Six and a half times six? Is it seven times five? Like, what are we looking at here? Yeah, I don't. I had him at 40 million, well, however you worked it out, kind of a six to seven year deal in, in that kind of. If it's if it's 40, that's literally like, that's almost half. It's a lot, yeah. It's a lot left on the table. I think it's better than that, but it's just, you can't sell him as the number one center anymore. You just can't. A year ago, you could have. Well, and he's, oh, yeah. I, or at least five. agent could try to. Like you said earlier too, Dean, about Zadorov, it's free agency. So he'll yeah. probably get a little bit more than he's worth. Where do you but... want to go? What do you want to be? But it will be also one of those things too, where it, kind of similarly to kind of now bring your point back up, Ryan, is you get to UFA and we can say there's only takes one team. But okay, so what are what are our needs? And how much cap space do we have? And how much do we want to pay this guy? And for how long? Yeah. You'd like to have, we'd like him for the next two, three years. We'll pay you. He's not taking a three-year deal, I don't imagine. No. And if he's your number one center, or if he's going to be your number two center, you're probably paying a number one guy a fair bit of money. It mm -hmm. will be very interesting to see what the team dynamic is, need cap space and all the, of that, that finds him a fit. The one fly in the ointment, Pinder, you've brought it up a fair bit, is Utah. They have... I don't, I, tell me if I'm wrong. You know, but I'm guessing they have plenty of cap space and an owner that wants to spend. And how fast does he want to turn the culture? And how fast does he want to change it? And right, like I, I'm not yeah. saying it's the right move for them, but the fly in the ointment with all of these free agents is if they're like you said, it only takes one team. And if that team's targeting you, all of a sudden, who knows? They got 43 million bucks cap space and that team has been run like they were owned by a guy that was really, really cheap and didn't want to spend because they were. And now they're owned by a guy that wants to make a splash in a new market, has an appetite to win, and they've loaded themselves up with draft picks. They have, you know, in the next three years alone, 10 second rounders. Like you can go move those for players that make money and immediately be competitive. You could go spend on Lindholm, add Marner and trade, sign Tanev, like just say, we're going to be good next year. You can do it. Like it's well, you add right Lindholm there. and then trade for his buddy Markstrom. Sure. 
I mean, I, I don't know that they need a goalie, but yeah, like Ingram oh, whoever. Leading shutouts, but yeah, oh, you whatever you want. Whatever team, you know, New Jersey, he could play in New Jersey. Could they use a centerman like Lindholm? Feels like a devil to me. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our content right here on the Flames Nation YouTube page. We had a bunch of great long form interviews. You can check out some videos we've done as well outside of the studio. And of course, if you want more writing or merchandise stuff, flamesnation.ca or nationgear.ca. Appreciate you watching.